Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com and we're going to take a look at the software on the LG Optimus 2X right here. We're going to take a look at you now some of the bundled apps that comes with by default as well as some of the LG customizations. So right away we see our lock screen and this is a little different. We got some nice notifications here. Oh. <laughs> We've got uh, the number of emails we have and a voicemail. It would probably show the number of text messages if I had any. So, and we got the clock right there, a nice big clock, and uh, what network I'm connected to. So let's slide up to unlock. I see some big raindrops falling on the screen. That's because it's raining outside. And this is our uh, default home screen. It's got some four icons at the bottom, kind of similar to what Samson has done with their uh, flavor of Android. And we got our home screens, you can flick across, of course, we all know that from Android. And down here is the applications tray, of course, and this scrolls up and down. And we have our default widget here, it shows the weather some uh, temperature and the time. I don't know why but the time up here is different so that's uh, something that came there by default <laughs> and we have our notifications tray of course got notifications all over here and we have a play button so we automatically have the music player here even if you're not running the music player and we have some switches for, there's your volume, there's your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and screen rotation lock. Now again, this is kind of weird because you shut it off and so that doesn't rotate, but it still doesn't rotate that way, so you have to go into some other program to figure out if that is on or off, <laughs> or working at all. So th that you just saw... If I tap the home button again, we get our little thumbnails of all the home screens so you can quickly jump to whichever one you want. And you can notice the speed on this. Sometimes pretty quick if we do like that. And but sometimes it's kind of slow. Anyway, Next, let's look at the phone dialer. Pretty standard there. Come on. And let's look at what we have for applications. We got AA stocks. So I this is gonna be a stock program. Remember? And we can just get some stock information there. Let's go back. Alarm clock, browser, calculator. Nothing terribly special. Here we have our car interface. That looks pretty nice. Come on. It's a nice design. We have F secure, so that's nice that it comes with the antivirus. We're scanning right now, so I'm going to stop. You got an FM radio, of course. That looks pretty nice. Little, I have to connect headphones, but it's nice and brown to match the back. Here's another special thing: LG Movie Guide. So this is going to show me some movie thumbnails. I'm going to have to... And here's some movies. I don't really know what this does. <laughs> but there's that. We also have LG Newsreader. And again, 
I'm not sure what's going on here. So I assume this is some kind of news. Let's get back. We have a mirror. And what this does is turn the front facing camera on. Okay. A lot of these bundled apps are uh, not in a language that I understand, so. Not sure what's going on there. Open Rice. However, we do have a couple good ones. I'm going to skip the others. We have Twitter for LG. So that's a custom Twitter app. And we have Facebook for LG. Custom Facebook app. Pretty cool. There you go. Looks a little different than the native one. And let's see what we have for wallpapers. It comes with some interesting ones. There's some bubbles. This one is a really distracting. <laughs> fireworks and most of the others are kind of default Android things okay next up let's look at what we have for widgets in here oh I didn't want to do that I wanted to go to oh well we have to wait for it anyway there we are There's our widgets list. Let's go back. I want to look at LG widgets. So here we have some uh, special LG widgets. Let's see our social feeds. Oh, and I have to choose a different home screen. So that's a nice custom uh, social feed widget there. It's my status. Pretty nice. Oh, well, we gotta force close. Okay, a few. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. So here's something else. You can press the menu button on the home screen. And there's home settings where we can choose how many home screens to have. You can't like choose weird numbers. You can only choose three, five, or seven. So you can see that'll change the number that you've got there. Also, let me show you the default keyboard that pops up when we go into a text field. Oh no, what is that? That's a numeric keypad used back in the days when people used to dial phones with numbers. <laughs> so to get text you gotta type each letter or each button multiple times to get the right letter. And there's no obvious way to get a QWERTY keyboard right here. So what you have to do is get out of here first. Go to Normal Settings, find the Keyboard Options. Now you would think I would just be able to go to Input Method and change it to something else, but no. You only have one option there. So you have to choose this button, and then Keyboard Layout, and then we can choose a QWERTY keyboard. 
So there we go, and getting it back. That's a little better. It doesn't have any prediction, really, but it works all right. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at the video player. Now, I was able to load a couple of videos on here, and so let's check out this one. And we're going to see how quickly how quickly we can skip. So let's just and right away it instantly goes to that point in the video. So, pretty quick on the video. Let's look at another one here. The video quality is really nice. So this is presumably taking full advantage of the dual core Tiger 2 processor. Of course we can output it to HDMI, but it didn't come with a cable, so we're not going to try that, because you can't. So there's the video. Let's get back home. So that's it for our software tour of the LG Optimus 2X. This device is available now from negrielectronics.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. That's it for now.